Come, son. You can be next less than you, so what's our son? But it starts with attitude. Come, look, use my chair this time. Use your future. Come on. be attentive. You put a left knee, you could stand up. Imagine a, a legend though when you make it. See? Is, is, is your time, son? Okay. Aim with me. Good. Right. So, when I was 14 years old, actually, when I was 7 years old, my dream was to play for West Indies and my uncle Carly Best. Anybody ever know Carly Best? Yeah. Yeah. You ever know Carly Best? Oh, well, I'm the only. He's more famous than me now. <laughs> right. So, my dream when I was 7 years old as a boy, small as you, small as you, but I had a heart. And my heart told me I want to play for West Indies like my uncle. So when I go to Kenny Tinovo, and I see my uncle playing against Pakistan and India and Sri Lanka and England, and doing well, that was my dream. Everybody's excited to go to Under 15 Trials, right? Yeah. Went to Under 15 Trials, it turned out that I wasn't good enough. So that was my first biggest disappointment. I had guys telling me, no, nah, no, nah, you ain't as good as you, you think. You're not as good as your uncle, buddy. You know, I know these guys little banter between each other. You know, you don't worry about it. You know, everybody's a brotherhood. You go make it a brotherhood, all right? Everybody say, oh man, you're not no good. You're not as good as the home. Cool. But that was my first disappointment. I said, all right, don't worry about it. I still believe that I can play for my team. At that point, you think you would have given up? Yeah. I get it. I want you to train it to Ray, want you to tell me whenever you're going to give up. Right. So, on the 15th, you can come and go. Everybody acts out, everybody becomes a big on the 15th, right? I joined the BBS sports program. Do you know what a BBS sports program is? Mm -hmm. So sports program. So I had an opportunity to talk to a good friend. And he said to me, Tino, if you want to be a cricketer, you've got to do the things that's going to lead you to be a professional player. So what I did, I joined the BBS sports program. As a military, yes, you go to learn how to march, learn to drill, go to wear army green clothes. But from Monday to Friday, you are catching, fielding, playing cricket like all you know, every single day. Monday to Friday, and then on Saturday and Sunday, you get to play games. Right? Yeah. So my journey starts when I'm 16 years old and seven months. I joined the BDS sports program. I recruited for like three months, couldn't go home for three months. I was quarantined to camp, can't leave. Like, oh, we quarantined, can't leave. You get two phone calls in two months, in three months. Take, let me say ten minutes. You have two phone calls, and your parents come to visit you one time. Who you think you put up with that? You think you can put up with that? Yeah. But you, but you dream is the best thing. Just, just the first one that you. Who is that? 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 Who is so I recruited, we came in onto the, the full sports program, and we end up being a part of the team now. So there are 19 guys in the sports program. There are guys like Edison Rock. If you all the fellas know who Edison Rock is, there's Edison Rock. There's guys like um, Damien Carfalo. There's so many talented players, Stephen Hall, so many talented players that came to the honor night before I was on a 19 system that I did not have an opportunity to, to play. So you know when the bar room got cricket talks, I can't get involved because I never played for Barbados yet. So I'm a little fish, I'm a small fish. Right. I was small just like you guys ago. Yes. So, time you on, I'm about 18 years old. I'm 18 and a half. I've been training the BDS for around two years and a half. And bring more water than getting a play. But every day training hard, every day training hard. I start to lift weights, I start to get strong. I went from being a number five batsman, from being an opener to a number five, from being a number five to a number, a really good number eight. And I bowled in my stiff medium pace. I started getting stronger, my medium pace went to fast medium. So I'm bowling fast, I'm about 80. I think it was the fastest, but anyways. <laughs> right, so, on the eight, on the 19th, we did come around. I'm in camp, you can't leave camp as you would like. Right? Can't leave camp as you were like. So, my first opportunity to get to on the 19th this is 1999. I finally get to leave camp, we had a bar room inspection. So, inspection of the bar room means that if a guy bed is not made up, we are confined for camp for like a whole week. Can't leave camp. 
Discipline, fellas, that's what I'm talking about. That's the only way you're going to make it in life if you're disciplined. Okay? Right. So, one, one person used the toilet and left skin marks. The whole bathroom, the whole, everything clean and set the skin marks. The corporal sees coming back in an hour time to inspect. That's at 2 o'clock. He came at 3.30. He came at an hour and 20 minutes later. I finally got on my bicycle. I got onto Weymouth. As I got onto Weymouth, I ran, I went and changed my clothes, went into the, to, 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 on the field, ran five laps, and came in. As I came, as I, I'm coming in, the coach at that time said, no, nah, we don't like tardiness. You come late, you're not a part. He said, don't come back in, you're not a part. Can you imagine that? How you felt, how you honestly, you, how you felt, how you honestly believe I felt? Because for three years I've been what? He prayed for this opportunity. So there's this guy telling me now, you come late. And it was not even my fault. I'm trying to explain to him now, he don't even listen to me. He's like, you come late, don't come. So I leave the practice now. I eat full of water. Promise, and then I tell you what I would say to myself. I would say that I freaking hate your head. I hate everybody that's playing your head. I hate my life. I am absolutely crap. I don't think you can make it. Because you got self-doubt. I am human, I'm not an android. Right? You got self-doubt. As I was leaving me, I went and changed my clothes, leaving me, two guys were coming in. And they were certain teeth. They were like the boys that were actually playing in the game. Like they were the big boys. And they said, Tino, what are you praying? I said, Coach, keep me up for being late. But there are those two guys coming. Yeah, but they they played the year before. So it is a big voice. So not nah, actually. Yeah, but well, actually this one. And so actually I say to myself, yo, life is even more unfair. I really hate the game. So I get on my bike and I go home. And I sat and I had a conversation with my grandmother. And she said, you know what she said to me? She said you're gonna let one human being say that you can't make it. That's not how you raise you. You've got to believe in yourself. I was like, okay. Went back into the school short the next day, and the guys laughed at me. They said, I tell you that you will be really good. So you're gonna be a lot of people that are gonna hate you. Even when you're trying your best, there's a lot of people that are gonna hate you, hearing you. You can't worry about it. Remember, what is the goal again? Play for West Indies or so on the 19th, they come and gone. The Barbados team is actually playing the tournament in Barbados. They bring every game and watch the game from the back. And they admire those guys. They take me one day, one day, a cup. And I came four for something in the four days. I was admiring those guys. That time, I think the man of the, two, the, the tournament was Ryan Heights. I said, oh, what a fucking no, no. Scored 100 in Queen's Pride, right, Frankie? Pretty 100. And they needed like 8, 9, 12 people in the park, guys. Cricket, John, Pop, your dad opened the body. Frankie, Frankie, you, 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 you came first, change after work, and best, right? Strong team, this barbecue team is amazing. So much talent. Fellas, and I was disappointed it was in the party. Like, Dwayne Smith was in the middle. All the nerves. Ran Austin, Spinner, Kurt Wilkinson. Suleman Ben. Suleman Ben. Just beyond number. So much talent. So, there, every evening I leave for cake. You know what I say to myself? I go and train harder. I go and train harder and harder and harder. I go and train to get lightheaded. If I won't make it by any means necessary. So two years pass. I'm 19 years old, 2001. I am 19 years old in April 2001. I'm going to be 20 in August that same year. I'm saying to myself, you know what? When 2002 comes, I'm going to join the British Army. I'm going to go and join the British Army and become a Royal Marine. I'm going to be like my friends. I, got, I had a friend who got his life blown off in Chorofi in Pakistan. That's not Afghanistan. I think that's Afghanistan. Serious soldier. That's my this way headed. But I still love the game. Like anything necessary, got to make West Indies team. But this is my last resort. I'm gonna go, put myself in, be a, be a corporal, be a sergeant, be something in the British Army. 
because I want to make something of myself regardless, even if I don't make it. So even though you might not make it as West Indies, cricket or Barbados cricket, you still need something to fall back on. And that's why education is very important, where the school is very important. Okay? Carry on your studies. They always need to be studying something. Alright? Good. 2000, April 2001, South Africa great team arrives in the Caribbean. I am super excited. You know why? Because for the first time in South Africa, a part of history, they have a black cricketer. Makaya Indini. And I'm like, you know about a kid called Makaya that's a real good player? Anybody know Makaya? What's Makaya's surname? Yeah, she's named name after Makaya Indini. Yeah. So here's Tino Fess, I need to meet Makaya Indini. God be there. So, we are selected as netballers. So they like to pick the boys from the BDS boys so we have to be netballers because we are fitter, we are stronger than the regular netballers. We both are ours and ours. We are just super fit. And the subscriber who is the director of the great coaching now at BCA, he, made, he was a real taskmaster. So we go to Weymouth, same place that I got my heart broken two years prior. Remember? When the coach kicked me out? Good. So I go into Weymouth and I'm small like you. And their head coach said, Who's the fast bowler? They put up my hand. And he laughed. I said, You're kind of small to be a fast bowler. Hmm? He gives me a new ball. Now remember, every day of my life, when I say Johnny Sports around, and I wanted to be a cricketer, everybody would say, We're small. They're too small. You were down a decade. You know, you hear any talking, you bark room and stuff. So, I said okay. So there, there's, there's, there were, there are five fast bowlers. I said I'm gonna bowl the last ball. Cause they got rounds. So everybody gonna bowl five balls in the last one. So Gary Kirsten, who's arguably one of the greatest openers that I have played for South Africa or, or international cricket. The four bowlers, the one he just smacks them, bang, bang, bang. Cause one thing about international players, they like to be dominant and show you as a net bowler that you're not at this level. They treat you, they chip at you, they smack you. You never see that that one of game three? Yeah. I gave my handle. Mm -hmm. um, you're right, right, Justin? Yeah. Right, you ever met no kids in Oakland and see when the international players come? Yeah. And you've got these net bowlers that think that they're good enough and they just get smashed. So those four bowlers went up and got smashed. It's said, okay. They said, I bowled the fifth ball. And they give me a new ball. Wonderful. I ran in. Every ounce of energy in my body, I released this ball. And it hit Gary Kirsten full, well not full, but boxer, straight in his drill. Bang! And he drops down, <laughs> takes off the drill, all the coaches come running. And he, fit, he gets a new helmet, he goes on, he touches the pitch and he says, you know what, probably pop. Pitch is hard. <laughs> and see, the sun is up and he's saying, the pitch is, is popping. <laughs> That was proper pace. So it was like, okay, good. But that's the first time I ever see a coach made keep it in a, a mix. Baseball glove. First time I see a baseball glove in the wrong cricket. Four bowlers going in again. He goes bang, 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 bang. Cream them again. You know, you get my confidence. Like, little down that bowler. Sees me again. Now. I run up. When Gary Kirsten got here, the ball was through the baseball mix. He was like, everybody just went, what the other talking to the Afrikaans. What the something? And the troll, half new ball to me. I said, yeah, this kid dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Next boy run up, hit him on his, got on a chest pad. I was beating him for pay, so I'm saying to myself, no, this man's supposed to be like the best in South Africa. And he beat me for pay. Do I really belong? Oh, nah. Nah. I don't think I belong. So after the, the three, two practice set, one practice, after that first practice session, the head coach came up to me and said, what is your name? I said, my name is Tino Bess. He said, oh, you're any relation to Carly Bess? So I'm still in my own the shadow. I said, yes, that's my uncle. He said, blah, blah, blah. Next morning, that was the Monday morning, Tuesday morning, as we turn up at Weymouth Pasta, Makaya and Tini and Alan Donald. Anyone know Alan Donald is? We need to go on yeah. YouTube and see. Very, very, one of the quickest bowlers of all times. Yes, please, Alan Donald. Alan Donald and Makai Aintini comes on the bus. Now, remember, I ain't the bus for all these sports. Sorry, I bet. I hardly get a play on Saturday. I'm the water boy. But even though I'm the water boy, I train every day, fellas. 
and put in that extra work. You know what happened? They come, where's Tito? We want to see Tito Bo. <laughs> Tito, because they always see the name Tino when they say Tito. I come up and I said, yo, it's Tino. I was, I was getting those funds because they are two of the, well, Makano in international cricket. This is like legendary bowler, one legendary bowler, a young quick. And they're asking about me. So Makano seems to come, you're going to warm up with me. All the sports program boys know what happened. They got a little jealous and all that. But what happened? At the end of that practice session, the head coach went on national TV and he said, the quickest bowl I've seen is this kid called Tino Best from the Army program. I think he's one of the 95 North North. Um, I never ever got clocked until I got a national cricket. So, hearing me let it go, I'm five, se I, I, I think I was about five seven that time. I grew a little, I grew a little taller. But, what happened for me is the fact that I used to train like that I was six foot. So, if I knew that the guys that are six feet five inches would be pressing to 50, I won't be pressing to 70. If they were squatting 500, I won't squat 700. I needed to be stronger than who I was against or who I wanted to be like. You get what I'm saying? It's all about sacrifice, making West Indies team at any cost. Right, guys? So, my phone rings mid summer, August. Barbados selectors invited me to trials. I feel on top of the move. Wow. Woo! What are you doing? Tell me how you feel. You get that phone call after who some men come from all South Africa and discover you. Oh, you know what I do? You don't know play. I know. I feel like I felt just like that. So listen here from now. So let's say you're invited to Charles in November. I train my butt off. First trial game is at Kelton. So you know, best people coming down there, oh, we hear about this day that we saw for Africans, so all talk so highly about. Feel a little nervous, you know, but I know what I can do. I run in a bowl as fast as I can. I got 30 from 8. I got creamed. When I tell you I got creamed, sure, the last thing. That was done to me with Dale Richards. I bought it from the supermarket end. You know how Kelton is. Dale yeah. Richards cut me clean on people, then they mash up some body charge on the end of the I remember when he got to bowl once in that game. I hop up the stairs, he comes, he said, Tino, what are you doing? I said, Good, good, good sir. He said, Well, I'm a selector, blah, blah, blah. I think you have time. But I don't think that you're ready for this level. Yet. And you're not going to be involved in the next round. And you suggest, you know, you need to, to work on your action a bit more, but you're not going to be involved anymore. And I wish you all the best. So you thought I thought, I was like, you guys don't like me at all, boy. I was saying to myself, boy, don't like me, I, I, I need a real puppy show. Right? I walked across Galton Field, went at number three, went home, sitting on my, on my mom's steps in here, and I'm crying my eyes on. Crying, I won't tell you crying, crying for like two hours. Yeah. I was eating my food and I was still crying. Right? So my heart is broken, and there to pick me up is my mother. She said, Tino, in life, you have to show interest. That's all you want to do, show interest. She said, You should go and still practice with the guys. I said, Well, no, I'm not a pimp. They cut me from the squad, I'm not interested in winning. I hate cricket. I've never met it. She said, Are you stupid? You think I'm an idiot? And my mom is just like, I can't, yeah. And she's telling me, I, I don't feel an idiot. I don't feel a loser. She called you an idiot, Tino. Yeah, straight up. She called me an idiot. She said, I don't feel idiots. And how do you feel when she called you an idiot? I feel that like, yeah, they didn't feel no way because they cried and the man that broke my heart. So, what basically happened? I said, You know what? From Monday, so, so you had two practice days. So Tuesday, Wednesday is the two practice practice days, and then the final trial game playing on the Thursday at the same way once. Where I got my heart broken once, got bigger, let me see what can happen. So I went to practice, I bowled, so, so many money is blowing, like at the many years. What basically happened? I went to practice as my mom said to me, guys. And I bowl like a raccoon. Fast. Do you know how a raccoon is moved? Yeah. I bowl with speed of sound. 
I go so fast and nobody will come back. Imagine that small man. I go that fast and a small man. Had a running and ducking and the thing. Oh God, so this is the next ball. You hear the guys busy? Like he's only at that ball. So, <laughs> let me choose three. So, Sherry Campbell comes over to me at the end of the final day of practice. The man that there took my life the weekend. He said to me, Tino, why didn't you go like that over the weekend? I said, sure, I was a little nervous, you know, and I just kind of fight you. He said, you know what, you know, look, see, tomorrow, I want you to walk with you here. I just want you to walk with you boots and you wings. And just come to the game of him. Just come and be a spectator. You're not, remember, you're not a part of the squad. Remember, I'm not a part of the squad. So I got to go with my backpack and stuff. I go into camp, I go to my sergeant, I explain to him. I like even gave him sure he can't down with a seat that I wasn't telling him. He said, alright, no problem. Do you? I said, okay. Go on my bicycle, my nickel bicycle. Bring a link from BDS to the corner straight to the bay Sitting on the stairs. That's how you used to do hot dogs upstairs. I had a hot dog and a sausage. I watched the first session. I watched Fidel go fast. I watched Antonio Thomas. My seat go fast. I watched Charlie to slow pace. Nick pick a boat. Nick edges. Campbell team got both for more 30 just before team. So, he brought out with the bowl and I can't remember who was the other bowl. I think Pedro de Pisa was the other bowl for the bowl. So, at TSA, you know what? Then it happened for me to get home. You get what I'm saying? But before he left, something my grandmother taught me. She always said, if someone tried to help you, you should always thank them, even if it don't work out. Because they hire you in your faults. So when I'm about to go through the way of gates, I turn my bicycle around, leaning up against the wall, and just run around the steps. When in the dress room, they ring it back, back. And I knock, I say, yo, Sherman, I just want to tell you thanks for even looking out. You know, like, even concerning me. Son, before I could even open my mouth, he said, did you bring it back? I said, um, I said, because it was a little embarrassed, a little shit. Going right in front of the guys who tried to bet the team. Sherman Calvin is asking me no. Who even isn't a part of the squad? Where's the gear? And so I started like, um, 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 I just am it. He said, yeah, James, is there a selector here? He said, yes, it's a selector the corner of the tree, only the big tree there, Rima. So he goes out there and he got up on. I started getting nervous when he said select. He's like, oh my god, I hope it's not a selector that kicked me out. I said, oh my god, I'm not going to get a play because I had a selector. I didn't know that they were different. They were the like first selector and the captain and the coach. So the selector I wanted me for me was Pink St. Hill. Or Pink St. Hill. Yeah. No, not his father. His senior. father. Senior. Yeah. 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 Senior. 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 You play for Barbers. Clay father played for Barbers. Very good. Right? Big tall brown skin man, you ever seen him? Big tall brown yeah, skin man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I think I show you right. So listen carefully. So he goes, yeah, just because Ian Bradshaw he started to give him some stress. Ian Bradshaw he hated trouble news. Which kind of word told him? I didn't say it. So, here's what happened. Campbell told me get warm. You're part of the trials because Brady is not going to play anymore. I was like, wow. Look at God, look at life. Boy, warm up. I close my eyes and I say, God, I don't want to ask you for much. I just want you to just calm my energy so I can really express myself. I know what I can do. I've waited for this moment all my life. I finally got that opportunity when I was 20 years old. Was, after being disappointed by a cool teenage life, I said I can isolate this down. I bowl 11 over straight. I got three wickets in that spell for 40 minutes. Three helmets they are. And the most important thing about that spell is that CBC Sports News were there for the last session. So they were watching it. So they saw it on the sports news. When I finished that spell, guys walked off the field and clapped me up and said, Wow, I think the Apple card is messed up now. Wow. <laughs> 